Hey guys, uh, this is another quick tutorial from Dantron, and this is going to be addressing the initial map for LED blinky on your control panel. I'm hoping to keep this kind of nice and short, concise for those that are wanting to know how to quickly set it up, especially for newer machines that are finding that they are not necessarily mapped correctly. All right, fellas, I just wanted to get everyone a little bit closer so you can see what's going on on my screen. Uh, number one, you're going to want to go to your hyper search, just highlight it and take a picture with your phone of this screen right here. Cause it'll tell you how everything is kind of labeled cause you'll need that in the next step. So, you know, the player three button is going to correspond to I. All right. And then same thing with K. So you're going to need all of these. So you understand as like a roadmap for the next step. Then, then we need to go into, hopefully you have a keyboard. We're going to go and hit the windows key and the D key, which will bring us to dashboard. We're gonna to wanna to come over here and we're gonna to wanna to kill, not physically kill, but you know what I'm talking about. We're gonna to wanna to exit LED Blinky. So, sorry, goodbye. Uh, then we're gonna to want to terminate hyperspin as well. All right, usually good practice to do that when you're in here kind of messing around with stuff. You're gonna come down to the lower taskbar. File Explorer is where I like to go. We're gonna to go to local disk C. We're gonna go into LED Blinky, and we wanna go into the nested LED Blinky. That's the second LED Blinky. So it's a second file inside the first file. So second LED Blinky. Then we're going to go down to here, generate LED Blinky input map, EXE. You're gonna double click that. Now this is gonna be the most time consuming part of your entire task. So you need to go through here and you need to map in groups of three. So the way that the groups of three work is there's red, green, and blue for each individual button that you're wanting to map. So that picture that I just told you to take, that's where gonna, what you're gonna use for your roadmap. So I know if you look back at that picture and you look at my player three button four, you'll see that it is zero. It'll be, or an O, so it'll be key code O. So you wanna go through here and you wanna make sure that you click and make sure that all of the ports are done correct. Uh, the challenging part is if you have uh, joysticks or anything of that nature, it might throw off the map. So hopefully you'll be able to kind of follow this and go, okay, so it's saying that this one is, uh, so for instance, let me go to, so port one, if I click it, it'll show me what lights up on my panel. That's what that button, um, player three button four is. Player three button one, I click that one. It'll show me where that one lights up on my board as well. So you can kind of follow and find out exactly where everything goes. So hang on, let's see if I can, what buttons are you seeing? You're not seeing too many of them. So I, let me move this just a little bit. Sorry, sorry y'all. Okay, so that's my button one. And like I said, so I can go to here and say, okay, what's button four? I can click in button four and see it showed up, button four there. Now I can go button four, what's this? This is the green. So I click that, see it shows. Okay, that's corresponding green. And then I click it, correspond, corresponding blue. And you just make sure that every single button corresponds correctly to what that IPAC picture was. Again, you do have to be a little detailed. This is the most time consuming portion of this, but it is not anything too crazy. Uh, you just gotta take some time because every panel is gonna be a little bit different. All right, so when you do that, after you're done, you're going to want to go and, of course, save it up here at the top. Then you're going to want to, next step, is go into the LED Blinky Animation Editor. Where is that one at? Right here. Uh, LED Blinky Animation Editor. I think it's a little bit lower. Hang on. Right here. I'm going to click into there. All right, so this is kind of the default sort of layout that is there. But what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna click layout. You're gonna wanna go new. So when you click new layout, it's gonna tell you, hey, you got this, you, you wanna do a new layout and all that stuff. You're gonna say yes, okay. I'm not gonna go through all of that because I'm trying to keep this short. Um, but what it's gonna do is it's gonna pull up and it's gonna have all your buttons that you've already mapped using the uh, input map and it'll have them all listed up at the top, at the top of this, and they'll all just be two big rows. And what you wanna do is drag each individual button to the proper spot that it would be on the controller, on your control panel. So basically you're gonna see, so button three, 
you would have, you know, button three, whatever, and you would pull it down and you would put it, uh, or player three, button one, and you would pull that one. It would be labeled up here. You pull it to where it's going to go. Player three, start button. You would pull it to where it's supposed to go. And so you basically are laying out your control panel. Then you're going to save it and name it as your whatever. I, I used my name. You can save it as, you know, like um, main map or something. Then you're going to oh, you're going to go back after you've saved that. You're going to go to this animation. Still same tab. You're going to click into animation. You're going to go open. Now this is the part that's going to be a little bit different. So you're going to open. You're going to want to go. Hang on. You're going to go this LED blinky again, nested LED blinky. So LED blinky, LED blinky, and this LWA. So you're going to click into that and it's going to bring in, bring you into this screen here. And you're going to want to find this one, four player gameplay L wax. You're going to click into that. And then basically that's going to be, this is my initial map for my panel. And so then all you can do, it should be what you've already set up now and your layout. It won't look like mine unless you have the exact same layout as mine. Then you're going to want to click on each individual button and then you're going to want to set pick color and you just pick the color for whatever color you want. Um, most of this stuff actually should be set up if you've gone through and done the, um, the actual generate input map correct. This default should basically blow itself right onto your panel and you should have no problems. Now the other stuff, like if you have a control, uh, a control stick that's lighted that you've added into the actual input man you'll be able to click that and say i want this one to be this color now at this at this point and then you want to go save but what you but what you're going to want to do is when you uh, actually once you get this done you're going to save it but the thing is is you want to save it as the exact same thing that it was so you want it saved as the still four player gameplay l wax you don't want to change that name at all because that's what led blinky is going to be looking for and then uh as a last step after you're done with all of this is you want to go back to that LED Blinky main folder, the first LED Blinky. I have multiple backups, but you're going to want to copy that and make a backup of this LED Blinky folder just to revert back to if you ever have an issue and you should be good to go. Uh, hopefully this will point you all in the right direction and uh, make it a little easier for you to set this map. Later.